Whether on land or in water, nothing gets in its way. This armored vehicle can withstand the most extreme conditions, like moving through thick foliage, soft sand, and steep slopes in different climates. Even though the troop carrier weighs 19 tons, it can also travel easily on water. The first of 100 warthogs to be delivered to the UK was unveiled this morning at ST Kinetics. <laughs> The Warthog will replace the UK's current troop carrier, the Viking BVS-10, now deployed in Afghanistan. The Warthog is a modified version of the Bronco, which is currently being operated by the SAF. Some of the changes include increased payload, better protection against mines and IEDs, as well as improved comfort for the troops with a built-in air conditioning system. All this is to suit the UK Army's battle requirements in Afghanistan. The Warthog will give us an improved capacity and、um, an improved mobility, and, and those are the two key factors、uh, which will be of real benefit to our armed forces. We have got a group of,、um, of UK soldiers out at the present time, and they are actually learning how to operate the equipment.、Um, they will then, in turn, go back and train our users of the equipment back in the UK. To ensure that the vehicles are up to standard, a Warthog testbed vehicle was put through desert trials in the United Arab Emirates under extreme heat and dust conditions.、Uh, the defence market, defence industry,、uh, is a very competitive one, and in a way, it has always been dominated. By Western countries or countries like Russia, you know, and, and all that.、Uh, for a Southeast Asian country, and Singapore especially, you know, a small country, to be able to break into a NATO、uh, environment, right, and to be selected to have the equipment fielded in operations to protect the soldiers' life, is really、uh, a very, very important achievement for the company, and that. Would give us very good reference, right, going forward, right, to become a player in the defence industry. The Warthog project is a contract worth 330 million Singapore dollars. It is Singapore's first overseas military export order. The vehicles will be delivered to the UK by the end of the year. To find out more about what the troop carrier can do, check out the next clip.